Hello my wonderful viewers, this is Tyro Oliver with Jaunty Cat Art and I just wanted to record this, just a little snippet of this painting because um, actually in the last couple of, uh, or um, rather in the last stage of this, um, I've been working on this probably for about mm, three or four months if you take into account the sketch layers that I've been doing. So um, at this stage of the process, as you can see, and I'm just going to swivel this camera over to my palette. I'm kind of experimenting with this palette setup to where I have organized colors. As you can see, it goes from roughly from light to dark and I have my warms and cools laid out in a more um, logical manner. And so I've added a few highlights already to the mother here at the top. Um, there's my reference sketch over there that I transferred here into this wood canvas. Um, as you can see, I have a few little highlights here. This is an opaque white with a touch of, I think that's cad yellow light. And I put in the little highlights here where her hair is. Um, I didn't want to go in too crazy with these light areas because of course I'm going for this dramatic moody look and if you use too much of that color that light color um here on her skin especially it's gonna um uh, it's gonna kill the the chroma the colors I've already added and it's gonna turn the whole painting into milk I've made that mistake in the past and it's very unattractive so i'm just being very careful as far as blending at this stage in the game and when you go and do a painting at this stage where you're just adding in touch a very light touch of highlights you don't want to put that everywhere there should be very few of your lightest lights add it to a painting and I just wiped away some of it just now so um, I'm just gonna film for a few minutes because I don't want this video to be uh, just outrageously long and my overhead light is on so that's where some of this glare is coming from so I'm just gonna grab my small number I think this is my number one sable yeah, I have my number one sable hairbrush here. Um, preferably, I will be using my number two. As I just, I prefer the number two size. Because this number one is a bit flimsy sometimes. But I only have two brushes like this. The number one and the number two. With this highly tapered point. So... I have to keep cleaning them and I want to, well, there's some tiny spaces I need to get to in here. So this is the opaque layer. So wherever I add this color is going to be pretty thick. I'm just adding in a very just very few touches of this very bright color and I'm not blending this really I might kind of press press it down and almost mold the color onto the canvas one thing about adding highlights especially to hair and even more so to this afro textured hair um, you have to be very light handed with these highlights and when you're drawing hair curly hair or textured hair you can't just go in and do strokes of the color 
like that um, because if you've ever actually seen photos or seen this in person with hair this texture, the way that it catches the light, it's almost, it's more of a sheen than it is a shine. Um, so you kind of have to have it glisten a little bit in, in touches. I'm getting too much paint on this brush. I don't want too much color here. And this right here is too much color. And there's a few areas, like right here in this cheek, feels pastel to me, and I don't care for that. So even though I'm saying this is my last um, bit of this painting, knowing myself, I might just go over it with maybe some burnt sienna just to make her skin look a bit more bronzed. You see, one thing about painting darker complected people, especially because she is basically supposed to be a um, black African descended character, and a lot of us with those skin tones tend to have, um, especially depending on the lighting scenario, you want to have a high level of saturation. Um, generally speaking when you're painting these darker skin tones like um orange um as orange um purples blues just very rich robust colors whereas you can afford to be a little bit more you know you can't really do so much of that when you're painting skin tones that may be a little bit more um, lighter or paler um, maybe in some of the um, like where there's warm tones on the fingers in certain light scenarios you can get away with the really saturated color on a lighter skin person but whenever you're Painting in darker skin. Um, it's, again, depending on the, the individual skin tone and the lighting scenario. You have to be more saturated in your colors. More so than just, more so than just doing a bunch of um, out of the two browns. Or just mixing up a color that may be darker. Um, you, you really have to bump up your saturation in the mid well in the midtones in the darks but even in the highlights they get a lively and attractive tone if you hear um, jingle bells going in the background here that's my dog okay this brush is getting really flayed out here at the tip. I'm going to try to put just a little bit of linseed oil medium just so I can get this tip to be um, pointed again. I think this brush is just old. And this titanium white just... Has, it, I don't know, it seems to have that almost like a drying effect on this brush, so that's not helping either. This is really annoying, actually. And I do not want to blend this color. 